Okay, so today we have a really cool video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test the efficiency on different ride heights. So the Cybertruck has an air suspension system to where you can be in low, medium, high, uh, very high, and extract. Uh, very high and extract, you can't go over, I believe, 25 miles per hour for very high and 10 miles per hour for extract. So we're not gonna test those. Um, but in low, medium, and high, we're gonna jump on the freeway and test out what the efficiency numbers look like. And also, if you come over here, what I'm gonna do is I brought my dirty, dusty aero covers, and we're gonna throw these on and test out what the efficiency looks like with those on. Um, so pretty excited about this. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and go over all the numbers. So stay tuned. Okay, so for the first uh, leg of this trip, we're in low. I have the dynamics at, um, we're gonna put it at chill and relaxed. And once again, we're in the, we're in the low setting. All right, let's reset the trip and start the test. So what we wanna do for the test is let's keep the speed we got to try to be consistent with the speed. Okay. Um, maybe just stay at 65. I can do that. I think that'll be easier to maintain. Okay, so we finished our first loop. Uh, we did eight miles, used three kilowatt hours of energy, and the average energy was 373 watt hours per mile. Now we're going to changes to medium. Okay, so we finished up the medium ride height on our loop run. We did eight miles, three kilowatt hours of total energy, and the efficiency was 388 watt hours per mile. So slightly higher, nothing too drastic, but um, definitely higher than um, in the low setting. So now we're gonna change it over to high. Okay, so now we're in high. So the only way you can drive over 25 miles per hour in the high ride height is you have to put the vehicle in off-road and I'm gonna put it in Baja and that's the um, that's the only way that you, you're able to drive it over 25 miles per hour so anyways so now we're in high we're gonna do the same loop run and see what those uh, efficiency the numbers look like okay so we finished the loop run for the high setting, obviously eight miles, we used four kilowatt hours this time, and the average energy was 449 watt hours per mile. Okay, so we've done a loop run in the low setting, we've done a loop run in the medium setting, and we did the loop run in the high setting. Now, I put the aero caps back on the wheels, so all four wheels have their aero caps, and we're gonna do another loop run to see what that looks like, we'll keep it in the low setting. And then what we'll do is we will open up the tonneau and do a loop run with the tonneau open to see what the efficiency looks like when that's fully open. So let's get in the car, let's go. All right, so we finished the loop run with the aero caps on. Um, same thing, eight miles, three kilowatt hours used, and the average energy was 373. 
watt hours per mile. So that's going to be interesting to see and compare to just um, low setting without arrow caps and see how that compares. Okay, so we reset the trip. We opened up the Tanu and we're going to go ahead and do the Lupra. Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing with the Tanu open driving on the freeway is it does feel like something's kind of tugging on me, tugging on the truck, kind of pulling me back a little bit. Um, that makes sense given the fact that air is going up and over the Cybertruck, going down into the bed, hitting that tailgate, and then having to jump back out. So um, not super surprising, but... Uh, I just wanted to share that observation that I made. Okay, so we did the loop run with the Tonneau open, 8 miles, 4 kilowatt hours used of energy, 439 watt hours per mile. And that's in the low settings with the arrow caps on and the Tonneau open. All right, just to make a clarification, my fingers are dirty because I put those arrow caps on and they're filthy dirty. They've been sitting in my garage for weeks. And Zach's over here making fun of me because he's saying I got dirty fingernails and dirty fingers. That's the reason why, okay? So I get myself dirty for you guys, for my YouTube viewers. So you're welcome. The, the, the test is all that matters. And I'm out here doing the dirty work for you guys. So let's dive into the numbers. Right here, you can see that in all settings, we traveled a total distance of eight miles. Total energy was three kilowatt hours for low, medium, and low with arrow caps. In the high and low with Tanu open, we used a little bit more energy with four kilowatt hours. The average energy was pretty surprising when it came to the low and low with arrow caps. As you can see here, they have an average energy of 373 watt hours per mile. So pretty much, as you can see, the energy efficiency does not change when you have aero caps on or off, which is pretty surprising as that was the whole purpose of the aero caps was to give you better efficiency numbers, better aerodynamics, less drag. But in my testing, that is not the case. You get the same exact number whether you have them on or off, which is great news because they are not delivering any cyber trucks with aero caps as of right now. Now diving into the estimated range, that was really good to see as far as when you're in low without aero caps, you are getting almost 330 miles of range, which is great news. So overall, I think this was a great test for us to see how the Cybertruck is affected by ride height and to really give you an idea of where you should be to maximize your range and efficiency. As always, if you like this type of content, please leave a like and a comment down below if there's something that I missed or that you would like to see in a future video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out. Thanks.